about usually with pole vault you kind of have to work on one thing at a time and usually once I get one thing down I have to move to the next thing so on every meet almost I focus on something different that I needed to work on that I didn't do the last meet um, whether it's my swing or coming off the top so you like that's what I focus on when I warm up and when I start it's just something technical it's different um, my main goal is 10-9 because that's the school record and right now I just went 10-6 so I'm getting closer uh, 11 is possible. I mean, I've done it in practice, but obviously you got to translate it. So my goal for the year is 10-9, but if, I mean, if I get 11, that'd be pretty cool. She's a great asset to have because she can do anything I put her in. But um, let's see, she's doing the 100 meter hurdles. She always does the 300 meter hurdles. Um, she is also running the 4x2 now. So we're kind of deciding, you know, how we want our relays to go and if that will benefit us more than her in the 300 hurdles so I kind of put her in all four of those events and hope for the best and she always seems to place at every meet and she gets us points and I know that some of them are not her favorites she loves pole vault more than any of them and I think she would love to just focus on that but she's a great team player and she will do anything I ask her to do if I put her in the 4x4 she just does it so she's great to have because she will score points for us and she knows that at big meets that we do kind of expect that from her and she'll do it for us. It's actually, it's kind of funny because the things she do, like I can remember getting so frustrated about that. Um, it's really fun though to kind of be able to help her and coach her and like show her what she's doing wrong. She gets really frustrated when she isn't picking it up quickly and I remember I used to get really frustrated. So it's, it's nice being able to help your sister. Probably the most memorable right now is, is probably in volleyball when we won the sectional championship game against Springfield High to go to super sectionals. That was so memorable because we were like the total underdog. No one expected it and we pulled off a huge upset.